So, um, I've basically done videos of this with Warhammer 40k characters, but now I'm going to do it with a Warhammer the Old War World faction. Isn't this going to be fun? I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. So yes, as you can see from the title, what if the Skaven invaded the Four Nations? So basically the Skaven are a race of rat people, and we'll get into what they're like in a bit. But basically, they're from the uh, from Warhammer uh, fantasy series, and the Skaven are complete assholes. So, um, so what if you drop them into the world of the Four Nations? Now, to clarify as to what era of the Four Nations, we're gonna say Avatar Aang's timeline. So we're gonna have this like Avatar Aang and all that. They are go that's going to be the um, uh the timeline we're going to have here. So what would it be like if you just plopped, you literally just plopped the um, the Skaven, arguably one of the most ferocious, if not fun, uh, faction in the Warhammer universe, What and what would happen? So let's talk about a bit of the Skaven. The Skaven are basically, like I said, a group of rat people, a whole infestation of them, who really don't like anyone, not even other Skaven. In fact, if it, it's been said that if the Skaven actually like united, they'd probably take over all of the of the uh, world, all of the planet that they're living on. Um, hell, when they got their shit together for a half minute, they took over half the planet in like a few months' time. So, yeah. So the Skaven, the thing is, is that they breed fast. Like they just, like rats, they literally spawn numerous numbers like their whole thing is just we are going to come at the night and we are going to come in the thousands and we are going to eat and enslave all of your people sound good don't care or if you want to go by skaven speak we are here to conquer and slave plan a little a little village town yes yes <laughs> so that that's the speak of the skaven um so that's kind of, the other thing is that these guys are pretty damn good magic. Some of them called Gracieers are powerful magicians. And also they really know how to use arcane science to make a horrible abominations out of the corpses of their enemies, as well as corpses of their own kind. Um, yeah, they're also pretty, they also have some serious ingenuity to them. You've all probably heard of the Rattling Gun, which is basically a Gatling gun that shoots magic bullets. Kind of. It's a little more than that, but I'm kind of simplifying it. So what would it be like if you put this the Skaven in a world that's already at war, you know, that's already in the middle of a major hundred-year war? What faction could hold their own the most? Well, we only really have three factions at this point. Air, water, excuse me, fire, water, and air. Damn it, earth. I keep trying to say air. <laughs> earth, water, and fire. There you go. So... You have the Earth Kingdom, who, who's so vast. I imagine if there was any place the Earth, the um, the Skaven would probably uh, expand the most, it'd probably be the Earth Kingdom because there's so much wide. Or there's so much of a wide continent. They'd probably be sneak. The Skaven do this these hit and run tactics um, on little villages to replenish themselves. So they could easily be attacking in the night and tearing apart whole villages, eating and enslaving the population, while people, the Greater Earth Kingdom would be none the wiser, because it would either be, well, they probably packed up and left because the Earth Kingdom's uh, kind of in the middle of a war and they didn't want to get involved, or a Fire Nation raiding party came in the night and wrecked everything. So the Skaven would be, like, at first, a ghost in the night. Just this, uh, like, a scary story to be told of seeing these rat people scurrying about in the shadows. Um, the uh, now yes, Earth Kingdom, the be uh, the um, nations at large have bending on their side. Um, but the thing is, the Skaven don't need bending. Like I just mentioned, they can make abominations of untold horror. They can uh, they can make guns. They can make they have they have magic. They have all these. Um, different weapons, but they really like to be up close and personal. They also love to bring plagues with them, because of course they would. Now, the Skaven are both s um, the smartest and probably the stupidest beings you'll ever come across. 
The Skaven will literally try to kill everyone, but if things go wrong, they'll start blaming each other and start killing and eating each other. Um, hell, um, one, uh, one dark wizard named uh, Ikit blew up the moon for the lulls. They're just evil and they're evil in it and they're conniving they don't care they just care about themselves not even their own faction they they fight themselves all the time so like uh, going back to my point is that the earth kingdom would pro even in bossing say where it's not exactly the most well managed town the uh, uh bossing say would probably fall to the skaven in a more not not just faster but also a lot more horrifying like i could see like um in this alternate timeline the fire nation tear you know using the drill to bust down the walls of bossing say and then suddenly they just see like the skaven like eating earth uh, you know earth kingdom citizens of uh, because they would go ring by ring and tunnel under that's the other thing they would probably the skaven would probably make home in the ruins of old bossing say just hide out under there in under and you know feed on whatever they find probably each other and then proceed to you know move from ring to ring silently killing from the shadows until it was time they had enough numbers to just explode out of the ground and be like earth kingdom land is ours yes yes <laughs> um yeah so what would the fire nation be like you know the water tribe i think has a lot of like has a lot of time but I, because there's not a lot of, um, the Earth Kingdom, both, uh, not the Earth Kingdom, the Water Tribes, both South and North, would probably fare the best against the Skaven, because the Skaven aren't known for being, you know, good at boats. <laughs> they have boat, they have, like, a, they do have, like, an understanding of, like, how to, ma uh, like, make boats and make, like, crude, rudimentary things to expand. The problem is they're not good at it, and also they really, it, like, when things go south, they turn on each other in a heartbeat. Also, you can't burrow... They can burrow in snow, but it's so cold there, they can't burrow through ice and snow all the time. Could they do it? Yes, but I think the the water tribes would probably be the last ones to fall. Um, now, let's say if they if they popped up in the, in the Fire Nation. The Fire Nation is just a level of brutality that the Skaven are on the same par with. So these guys... Uh, the Fire Nation would be totally on, uh, on totally good terms of burning entire Skaven nests um, to the ground. Even, like, they'd probably try to take the technology of, like, rattling guns and the stones they use, and even, like, trying to use the uh, the Gracier magic, although that would probably backfire horribly on them. In fact, just kind of a thing, and this is just kind of, I don't think this would be a real thing if this happened, but this is just kind of, like, I feel like this might, like, I feel like it's just too perfect it wouldn't happen. I feel like the Skaven would roll with Azula. They usually look at um, humans as slave or food, but there's like they would take a look at Azula and see like how how conniving, how dangerous and lethal she is. She, they would be like, "Hmm, Fire Nation princess person, Skaven, yes, yes." Um, they would call her like I could see her them like accepting Azula as one of their own. And calling her like the Rat Queen or something is like she would be like how the God Emperor, how the te the Adeptus Mechanicus see the God Emperor, where they call him the Omnisaya. Here they call her the Rat Queen, like or like the Prophet of the Great Horned Rat. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, but there has to be good Skaven, right? Like there has to be like you know maybe Ang and the others could like befriend a Skaven or something. Nope, that's not how this works. Literally, if any Skaven has any thoughts of, like, being good or even so much as sharing um, food with another person, their god, the Great Horn Rat, would literally just smite them on the spot. I'm, that's not even a joke. That has happened. Like, some Skaven will try, have tried to be nice. They die for it. They die being nice. So that's all they know. They All they are is just straight up evil. And again, the numbers are kind of a big problem. Um, and we're already in a nation that's, like, kind of in, in the midst of, um, a war they're losing. Like, one nation is in the middle of losing that war, and the other half is so dead focused on, you know, Fire Nation superiority that the Skaven could easily just start spreading out like a plague. 
The only way they could pro the four nations could probably hold their own against the Skaven is if they united. But that's not going to happen because, again, it's kind of hard to get, a, you know, you try getting Fire Lord Ozai to work with the Earth Kingdom or, you know, the Water Tribe because of what? And he'd be like, so? Fire Nation can handle themselves. Let these rats come. We'll burn them out like we burn the Earth, like we burn the, Earth, the uh, Air Nomads. Aw, oh, too soon, Avatar. Um, yeah. But again, they might, like, it's kind of, it's, which is ironic because, like, that's why the Skaven can't win, because they're too busy fighting each other when they could, if they united, take over the whole planet. So, yeah. Um, now that could give them time, but really, it would just not bode well for for the entirety of the Four Nations, um, who would be so dead, because obviously, you can't just walk back a hundred years of genocide, um... Uh, and you know, be nice about it. But the so uh, like, if the Fire Nation and the Earth Kingdom, even United, probably uh, now that I think about it, even United, the Skaven would probably still be a massive threat. And because again, numbers are everything. They can just re for every Skaven you know you kill, there's fifty more waiting for you. So yeah. But you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you think it would be like if the Skaven showed up, if the Skaven invaded, or better put, infested the Four Nations? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoy this. I'm curious to see how this goes, because this is my first foray into the Warhammer fantasy world, so we'll see how this one goes. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.